my favorite day is Tuesday. And George and Peanut Butter Fudge today. Very good, because tomorrow is Wednesday. Alright guys, let's start from the beginning of the week. <laughs> And me, Bosco, and Albert will. His name is Dripmaster. <laughs> it was the face for me. He just goes. He goes. Good morning, Central. Welcome to Monday. I hope you had a great weekend and that you are ready to start the second best week at Central. Midterm week. Who doesn't love a good exam every other period? I know I do. Now, for my favorite segment of the day, talking to Green Group. Hey guys, buddy your pals, you should sign into attendance. <clears throat> well, glad that's over. Now let's head on down to Logan with the weather. What's up, Central? As of 7 a.m. this morning, it was only 29 degrees. Luckily, that won't be our warmest today. We'll be getting a high of 34. Great. We'll also be getting a low of 20. We do have a slight chance, a very slight chance of snow sometime today. And as the day goes on, we should be expecting the skies to become more clear without all the clouds. Thanks, Logan, for that weather report. Sounds cold. Let's uh, talk about sports. Tonight at 530, Worthington will be hosting a gymnastics meet. Good luck, gymnasts. Well, we already have our fall sports getting underway. It snuck up on us. The Central Crossing Comet football team will begin workouts today. If you're a returning player, please pay attention to your team snap and football Google Classroom to know which lifting group you will be in and which days you will work out. If you did not play last year but would like to play this year, contact Coach White, Coach Bender, or Coach Kandai at the emails below. Now we have some major congratulations to send out. The Comet wrestling team went 2-2 two to two this weekend beating Westland 46 to 28 and Logan 54 to 14. The Comets fell to Grove City 43 to 30 and Western Brown 46 to 30. Congratulations to freshman Brandon Sheets and sophomore Ridner Gartney on going 4-0 on the day. Going 3-1 were Caleb Eads, Jamie Ramirez, and Jaden Vaquez and Trey Hessel. Good work, wrestlers. Their next action is Thursday night at Prickington Central. Congratulations, wrestlers. I've got more congrats to send out. Junior Sadie Stortz has spent the last three days participating in online rehearsals for her all-national honor choir sponsored by the National Association for Music Education. These selected students will next create recordings for a virtual performance to be released sometime in March. This is the first time in Central Crossing history that a student has been accepted into the All-National Honor Choir. Good job, Sadie. Enjoy this special honor. Congratulations, Sadie. Now, I have some fun news and a Happy New Year's greetings from the Renaissance Club. They will be hosting a virtual meeting at 8.30 this Wednesday in a Google Meet. The agenda includes several projects for the second semester, and they could sure use some help. So drop in and lend a hand. Again, that's a Google Meet. Wednesday, January 13th at 8.30, and the joint code is CCHS Friend Club Meet. Did you sign up yet to donate blood? This is one of the easiest ways to give back to your community. Your next chance to donate is January 21st on a Thursday from 1 to 7 p.m. at Vineyard Church which is at the corner of Big Run and Holt. If you have any questions, see Comet Crazy's Danielle Pfeiffer, Grace Watkins, or Casey Brooks, or Miss Fuller in room 225. Here what, here's what donating blood looks like. Donating blood is a safe and easy way to show your school pride by helping your community, and thousands of patients rely on it every day. Here's what you need to do about becoming a life-saving hero. Basic eligibility requirements. You must be at least 16 years old. Weigh at least 115 pounds. Be in good general health. Before you donate, it's very important to eat a healthy meal within two hours of your donation. Drink lots of water at least 24 hours prior to your donation. Get plenty of sleep. If you are 16 or 17, remember to bring your signed minor consent form. 
remember the last four digits of your social security number. Okay, well, first step is we have you come over here, read some pre-screening questions. If you pass those, um, we'll hand you an iPad. It has about 53 questions on it. Once you're done filling out with that, um, we head back to our second step, which is this way. Follow me. This is the second step. Um, right here in the tech station, we do vitals. We take a blood pressure, we take a pulse, a temperature, and we do a little finger poke to test your hemoglobin. Well, everything looks great. Let's get you out into the draw station and we'll get you going. And then I'm just gonna put a blood pressure cuff around. This is just to hold some pressure during the donation. There is a nice little pickle for you to squeeze. And you're all set. After your donation, skip physical activity and heavy lifting the rest of the day. Drink lots of water for the next 24 hours. Your life-saving gift is typed, tested, processed, stored, and distributed to patients in need within about 48 hours. Enjoy the feeling of knowing that you're a true high school hero to patients in need. So that's it. Pretty simple. Please know, however, that this video was made prior to COVID, so one more thing you will need is a mask. Remember, every time you give blood, you save three lives. Next, for you 9th through 11th graders, I've got a good opportunity for you. TechCorp is accepting applications for its Technology Career Exploration Program, which runs February 1st through May 17th, and you can attend one meeting per week. You can find an interest form on your Google Cohort classroom. The deadline is January 15th. By the way, this is one of those classes where you can earn a free laptop. Okie dokie, Central. That's all we got for you on this Monday morning. Good luck on any exams you have today. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. Audrey Hepburn. And don't forget to get plenty of sleep. Bye. Logan is always getting me in his feels in his new outros. Yeah, bro. It's my thing. <laughs> this is 2020. 2020. <laughs> Resolution.